Cougar and Cassius Fry from London. We're in Blue Water here in Kent for the Mick Hennessy Show. Backstage with me, I've got Junior Witter. How are you, Junior? I'm well, thank you. Very well. I'm very well. You didn't ask me, but I'm very well anyway. You sure? Yeah, definitely, Good. definitely, definitely. Um, we haven't seen you since uh, your defeat to Frank Gavin. What's been going on since then? Um, yeah, I mean, I had some personal stuff I had to sort out, which which affects me for the fight, I feel. But that's just life. You have got to get on with it. I've done that, I've sorted that, I've sorted my head out, I'm back on it, I'm back in the game, I'm back in the gym, I'm training at the minute, it's like I've been, Kel Brooks fighting in five weeks, I'm training alongside him, Adam Edimetch's been training alongside Barry, and I'm on it, I'm back. When can we anticipate seeing you out again then? It's looking like September, uh, WBC World Cup, that's what I'm training for, that's what's on my mind, um, I've been told it's going to be Russia for the first round for me, so it's just a case of getting ready for that. Can you tell us a little bit about that, that WBC Cup please? Um, it's a knockout competition, yeah. I mean, it's from fighters all around the world, former world champions, the up and coming stars in it, prospects. And it's um, 12 round contests, four rounds when it, when it gets a big pot and um, a shot at the world title. You're a former world champion, as we all know, uh, former WBC champion. Do you think you get a bit of unfair stick about your style of fighting sometimes from the critics? Uh, I definitely do, yeah. I mean, I won British, Commonwealth, European, and World. I won all the major titles I could win. Yeah, I've come back, won the British at welterweight. I'm going to win this competition, get another shot, win the world title. So yeah, I do get a little bit of unfair stick, but that's life. You get on with it. Where do you think you can still go in your career now? What, what, what's the ultimate aim for you now before you end up retiring? I want to be world champion again. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to get in this competition and win this competition. That's my that's my that's my next goal. Get that one, get my shot, and win it. If you could choose any welterweight out there to fight at the moment, who would you pick? Well, it's only got to be Floyd, hasn't it? Even though he's... Domestically. Domes <laughs> domestically. <laughs> um, not really bothered. I, I'm, I don't really care. No one worries me. No one bothers me. I mean, there's some, there's some decent people out there, but no one bothers me. No one worries me. You know what I mean? So it's just anyone. Anyone. But we'll watch out for Witter versus Mayweather coming soon. Well, I'd like it, but it's not likely to happen very soon. But what's going to happen is I'm going to get in the WBC World Cup, win that, and uh, get my world title shot. All right, Junior. Um, listen, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. Thank Feeling you. this track too again, academics. It's it's there, man. It's late. It's you know it. See, I, I wear stuff like this and I get stick for it. So, but no one says anything to you because you can fight. So that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Coogan Cassis with Junior Witt here for iFilm London. Thank you very much. <laughs>